Hello everyone. Welcome to the series You Are Loved and Precious Volume 2. We learned a little about ourselves, who we are, our true identity in Jesus, about the fears that keep us from living out this true identity and which leads us to have a sense of hopelessness and loneliness. We also learned about getting a spiritual makeover by doing some things that could help us to overcome these negative feelings and fears. And they are having a go-to place, prayer and the Word of God, ensuring that you do not get isolated so you could form a social group, go for counseling, get help from the palliative care unit of your parish, join an NGO, have a pet, have a hobby, talk about your fears. So now, the main aim of this series is to help you to live and be a better version of yourself spiritually. Today in our series You Are Loved and Precious Volume 2, we will touch upon three main topics that happen to us all the time, hurt feelings, grief and pain. We have been carrying these huge bags of weight for the most parts of our life and we are very familiar with being hurt. Now since not a single person on this earth has been spared of these three things, how do we overcome it? Since we cannot avoid it, we have to walk right through it until the last. What do we do? Do we have a choice? And how are we going to walk through it? By having a positive attitude and reaction. Now because the how matters, since it will determine the kind of person you will be while walking through this hurt feelings as well as what you will become at the end of it it is important to see how you are doing whilst walking through your hurt now what do i mean by positive attitude it is having a sound and positive state of mind which is very contagious and people would like to imbibe it now what is having a positive state of mind where one has an opinion that is fair and just and you have emotions within you that are walking in grace, faith, love, positivity and looking at the situation in the right perspective. And what is positive reaction? What do I mean by that? It is having the right response within your emotions that is on the inside of you and outside by your behaviors. That means reacting positively with love, understanding, kindness, generosity and compassion. Let us look at hurt feelings in this video. Even though we are so familiar with the feelings of hurt, what have we done with that hurt? How has it affected our actions, reactions and behavior so far? Have we dealt with our hurt feelings or are we still carrying this weight around for years? Let us see and understand first what hurt means and what Jesus says in his word about hurt feelings. Hurt feelings means an unhappiness or sadness which is caused by someone's words or actions which further develop a reaction within you or an action within you of anger, retaliation, bitterness, hatred and even murder and slander. All of us are hurt in some way or the other. We need to check who are these people who have hurt us, especially when it is not your fault. Now when you see them, how does it make you feel? Do you feel rage? Do you not like seeing their faces or talking to them? Is there violence and abuse in that hurt? So the question is, how many years are you going to carry this baggage? Do you want to get rid of your hurt feelings? Maybe the people who have hurt you are not alive anymore. But we are still living a bitter life. Today, let us courageously drop this bag down and release it to Jesus. Let us see what the word says about hurt feelings. Ephesians 4, 26, 27 In your anger, do not sin and do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. Verse 27 do not give the devil a foothold. 
Now why does Jesus say do not give the devil a foothold? It is because if you do, he will come with a load of negative feelings to hurt you deeper. So now how can you help yourself against this onslaught from the person who is hurting you and the devil? It is by having a positive attitude and positive reaction. What should your attitude be when someone hurts you? Jesus didn't say do not get angry. He said do not let your do not sin whilst you are angry. So you may have a sound mind respond with a counter reply to defend yourself or clarify yourself. But if you find that you are not able to get your point across to that person stop. Just say that you are sorry and that you both cannot understand each other but respect that person's view. Saying sorry now is never easy, especially if you are not wrong. What about positive reaction? The confrontation would have definitely shaken you and you may have said sorry to but once you are back home or away from that person, check your thoughts. Are you reliving this moment? Does it stir up anger, resentment, guilt, shame, hopelessness, helplessness and loneliness? A lot of negative feelings that you really want to give back? Or are you willing to overcome these negative emotions with positive ones? You still continue to respect and love and most importantly what you need to do in your positive attitude and in this positive reaction you need to learn to forgive. Now forgiveness mind you is a very tough decision but it is the key that will help the healing process. Forgiveness is not merely accepting what happened or ceasing to be angry. Rather, it involves a voluntary transformation of your feelings, attitudes and behaviors so that you are no longer dominated by resentment and can express compassion, generosity and like towards the person who has wronged you. Therefore, it is a very tough decision. It's one of the toughest decisions that you will ever make in your life. More than a decision to get married, more than a decision to make money, more than a decision for career. Forgiveness is a very tough decision. Because if you do not forgive, this is where you give a foothold to the devil. As he will continue to torment you in your emotions as well as acting out in your behaviors. Into a never ending cycle. Now does it mean that you continue to allow that person to hurt you? You are not called to be a doormat, but you wisely change your attitude and reaction. This is where we evolve as a human being. No matter what age, we need to see how we are evolving. Am I becoming a better person today or a more bitter person? Then one might say, this person is going to hurt me again and again. And if there is physical abuse and violence, let us see what Jesus says. Jesus said in Matthew 18, 21 to 22, I do not say to you seven times, but up to 77 times. My gosh, can you imagine this? Is Jesus being mean? That means for infinity, we have to learn to forgive. Jesus doesn't understand our hurt, does he? Definitely not. In fact, he wants you to forgive until that person can no longer affect your reaction and attitude. We have all experienced this feeling. Forgive you? I guess so. But I cannot forget. Let's be real. Not in this lifetime. Haven't we heard ourselves say this so often? We are unable to forget. In our heart we say we have forgiven but we are unable to forget. And why is that? I have a beautiful example of a bee sting. When a bee stings us, it leaves a sting in, inside our body and as long as the sting of the bee is within your body, that portion will be swollen, very painful, will be red and will start oozing with pus until and unless the doctor makes an incision and removes the entire sting, that swelling, that redness, that pain, that pus will not stop. In the same way, Forgiveness is that balm, that action where you remove the sting. You will never forget the incident, but that incident when you remember 
will never evoke in you a sting of bitterness and with that let us always remember we have god's word to rest in and surrender our hurt feelings to him through counseling and through the word of god we now end this topic and we meet again in our next video on grief thank you for listening